Hi, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Thanks so much for joining us today. You picked a good day. We got world history, we got steam history, we got church history, we got political history in Europe. And it's all because of a gentleman by the name of Arnold Janssen. Now, in 1875, apparently there was some scuttlebutt in Germany between the church and the government. But anyway, he fled Germany because Arnold was a missionary-minded person, and he wanted to do world missions in the name of God. So he couldn't do it in Germany, so he fled just across the border to the Netherlands. And he had this grand vision, and he built something there that is really significant, still stands today. So he wanted to launch missionaries all over the world, but, you know, he said, I need materials. And his vision was to use printed materials, not just to give to the missionaries, but also to recruit missionaries. So he built a steam-powered printing press, a pretty massive steam-powered printing press, as you can see from these photos, complete with boiler, steam turbines, steam engines, the whole bit. Not only did he build that, they built a monastery. They built basically an entire town. They produced their own electricity from the steam turbines and the steam dynamos uh, for their central kitchens, for their heating, the whole bit. All right, so just like I promised, we had world history, we had church history, we got steam history. So now you know a little bit about Arnold Jansen and the Society of the Divine Word Steam Printing Press. But I want you to join me here next week because we're going to go inside the boiler room and look at all the equipment. I'll see you then.